Good morning from the Maldives. I only have another, I think, three mornings of saying that. We came out here for my 30th birthday. We have never done a trip like this. We will probably never do a trip like this again. So for that reason, I haven't been vlogging every day, but I did want to take you on one day only with us in the Maldives. <laughs> the Fairmont on Siru Fenfushi I want to say it's one of the atolls and it's just crazy like we were gotta go to New York then I was like let's do the Cotswolds for a weekend instead and then suddenly I had this phone call with my dad and he was like you really need to mark your 30th so he completely instigated this trip as well as my partner's parents were in the Maldives and also this whole purchase was because of Josie Fear from the Fashion Mumbler. I watched her vlogs in the bath about the Maldives and I think I watched both vlogs back to back. It was probably like an hour and a half's worth of content and I was just sold. I've never been here before. So this is a once in a lifetime trip and yeah, we had my 30th on the 7th of March, so about three nights ago. I wanted to start with a room tour, show you some outfits and then hopefully, fingers crossed, tomorrow we actually go to one of the overwater bungalows. So you'll be able to see both. Never stayed in one, never stayed in a room like this before. So I wanted to share this little slice of heaven. If I'm slightly oily and adding to the heaven theme, we've just come back from a two hour oil massage, which was so indulgent. I think indulgent is probably the key word of this trip. We obviously haven't been away for like two years. We've never done long haul together because we've only known each other for 18 months. And so if you can't tell, I'm incredibly happy, very relaxed, and it's the middle of the day here, so I'm staying out the sun anyway. So I thought I would give you a room tour. Let's do the inside first, mainly because of the air con. This is the main bedroom. It's a deluxe beach villa. We're on the sunrise side and this bed is massive we have a super king at home but i feel like this must be this is bigger this is an emperor and i wish you could see my six foot four boyfriend on it because he's like yay big in it it's it's really super sized the aircon is amazing and then we've got this sofa over here and we often watch the news here at night we're keeping up with the ukraine russia conflict and it feels it's such a weird time to be away and being so incredibly happy and practicing so much gratitude when there is so much uh, wrong going on in the world so i just wanted to mention that um, anyway back to the room tour then we have uh, a little bar here and obviously i don't know like why does nobody ever take anything from the bar it's I mean, this, this holiday is extravagant, but I still can't go in the minibar. And then we have a fruit plate here and just an area to eat, but we spend a lot of our time outside. Going around the bed, it really turns into like a suite. Probably my favorite part is that we have his and hers wardrobes. They're just totally glorious. I am wearing a half-baked swimsuit today, which also doubles as a body. They um, have UV protection built in. They are made in London and I'm wearing their largest size. And then these trousers are from M&S Tall. I love them so much. They're really comfortable and I just feel like they're classy as well. I'm wearing those in a tall 18 and then I've got my little Fairmont Maldives slippers on too to complete my white look. But there is just so much storage here and it makes such a difference for being tidy and organized. And then if we flip round, this is my boyfriend's wardrobe here. Just so nice to have that space, like this villa is massive. Um, so we have the toilet in here, which you don't need to see. And then this is our indoor shower. Through here is the bathroom. So we have a getting ready area. I say that, but I actually haven't been wearing any makeup. I know I did my makeup on my birthday night, just like a little bit of mascara and blush. And I've been, I blow dried my bangs twice, but other than that, I'm going bare faced. I'm putting my hair up or having a little hairband in it because it's not the weather for bangs or sweating off your makeup. I know I talk about this a lot, but I seriously prioritize comfort. If I'm comfortable, I'm quite happy at the cost of looking just like this, which I think is absolutely fine. And then if we spin around this outdoor area, I've been following on Instagram, you've already seen some reels. I did have a rose bath in here and then that's an outdoor shower. And what I love is that we have this wall all around, which means absolutely nobody can see. And if you look up, there's just pure rainforest. I'm actually just showing you through the glass now. 
it's so hot outside apparently it's like 27 or 28 degrees but it feels a lot more and then here is our his and hers sinks which is nice this is my size i'm just cleaning a, a swimsuit i have this flat lay bag i've been wearing lancaster sun cream my first time trying this on spf 30 it's the velvet sun beauty sublime tan velvet milk it doesn't contain any tan and then this Lancaster Sun Sensitive SPF 50 for my face, which is lovely. Both of them have been outstanding. I feel like I only need to put my SPF 30 on once a day everywhere, and it seems to withstand the sea and the pool. And I haven't got burnt. I keep catching it every now and then on my shoulders and my back, but it's an age thing again. Like I used to prioritize content and having a nice tan. Now I'm away, I just want to prioritize relaxing and looking after my skin. This bathtub is absolutely massive, genuinely could fit four people in it. Very warm, you know, as soon as you open the doors. It's like when you open the plane doors and you're just hit by heat. Then I thought it would be helpful for me to show you some outfits. I've had a lot of outfit requests, but in the interest of preserving my um, holiday time, I haven't been linking anything. So everything will be linked down below in this one and also check out my reels. So this is the half-baked swimsuit I was talking about. It's 120 pounds. It's absolutely wonderful. It fits so well. It feels really supportive. It's double lined because it's white. And I think it's so flattering and lovely and it can function as a body as well. Um, I will link this one below. It's lovely, it fits so well. It felt a little bit tight when I first got it, but I feel like it's really molded to my body actually. And the fact I can wear it as an outerwear piece as well is handy. I really like to stick to lots of neutrals with the odd pop of a different like texture or color. This top is from m and size 20. I bought it just before we left. This visor, which I love, I just think it's so holiday ish is from asos i think it was about eight pounds and this is my jewelry and monica venida hoops with the swimsuit i'm wearing these asos beach trousers they do lots of them in tall which i find really handy i also bought some black ones incredibly comfy and actually fit me and stretchy and flattering and stylish and make a lot of sense and affordable and everything so i'd really recommend beach trousers from asos i also have this bag from azon i want to say it's called Papillon Vert. I will link something similar if I can't find this exact one, but just like the all white with the straw slash rattan, whatever you'd call it. And I think it looks really cool. And also trousers like these, just go like that and you can stop the chase. Just little accessories like this, make it cool and fun. Probably wear something like this to the airport and then switch into some like, I've got these kind of like warm joggers in my bag and then a thermal top as well. But that switch from London in the winter to Male was tricky. I think when I was deciding what to pack, I would like take a snapshot of every single outfit, which I've never ever planned and packed before, but I wanted enough stuff. I just wanted to be organized with my outfits. So getting a cover up like this is great because this is such an easy day to night outfit, but still so comfortable and stylish. This is a tie dye kimono from Free People. It was gifted. I'm also working as an ongoing paid partnership with them. Just a full disclosure, this is an old ASOS bag. I have this one that I wore every single night for dinner and then my large straw one for the day. And that's, I feel like, all I've needed. And I'm wearing my Birkenstocks for both outfits, by the way. I bought some like nude kind of summery low but block heel as well in case I wanted to dress up and I haven't worn them once. Maldives incredibly chilled. Um, I wasn't sure what to wear the first night. I wore this like red dress I'll actually show you in a bit, just to dress up a little bit, but to feel comfortable. And then a woman came in with like, in her bikini. It's like soaking wet so i was grateful for her actually because then it means i just don't need to put that much effort in every single night like i want to be comfortable and look nice but i don't really want to do my hair and makeup and wear heels but this tie-dye kimono can be worn as like a bit of a cover-up just to jazz up an outfit that's quite plain and add a bit of detail but also on the beach obviously when you're either wanting to like cover burnt bits or just something to throw over a cozy or a bikini this is really helpful cover-ups i just think are king on holiday this is another free people one asos bikini i searched high and low for something that was like 
flattering, underwired, supportive, but not looking too mumsy like a lot of curved stuff does. This one was incredibly affordable. It's also mix and match, so you can get different kind of style briefs with it as well. I love this cut. I guess like a bra style, it's so flattering. And I think I've finally given in to the fact that I've got F cups, I need support, whereas I usually just wear a triangle bra. Um, but this just feels a lot more supportive. And then this is like a lovely kind of sunflower pattern kimono. And even when you walk, it just flows so beautifully. So great for content, but then you could easily tie this up with like a belt or something and either go to lunch in it or Honestly, here you could go to dinner in this and nobody would bat an eyelid. And to turn it into a bit of a beach day outfit, I have this H&M, very oversized, 100% cotton, the ASOS bikini. And then these shorts are from ASOS 100%. I got them in a UK 18. And they also, they're called beach shorts and they do them in tall versions. And I also got the UK 20 just to try it on, but it kind of kicked out a bit much. The 18 was enough for me. If I shop ASOS Curve, 18 is big enough for me. It's when it's 18 core sometimes it's not and I do like them oversized and my hips and thighs are massive so sometimes I need to go up to a 20 and these like if you just need one pair to wear on holiday say you can only pack a carry-on something like this is just so good I will try and link these ones they are so helpful like with every single outfit they are casual they are comfy they are neutral you can dress them up dress them down and they're light I didn't buy a lot of new stuff so hopefully a lot of this will be still in stock that I can link to and then I've got a few hats to show you because I would say this outfit is quite plain so I might do something a little bit funky and try it on with a hat like this bucket hat just makes everything a bit cool. Like, I know I'm not cool enough to wear a bucket hat, but I really like this as a look and it just adds like detail and the rest of the outfit is light and then this is dark. So I think it'd be quite cool. And then if you wore it with Birkenstocks actually, just so it's dark with dark, that would probably make the most sense. And I also have a couple of other hats. Don't know why this has suddenly turned into a hat haul, but this is a beige, I love how neutral it is, Columbia cap i think this is actually really really cool as an outfit and then i have one big practical one this hat h&m i got it in a large i can just about fit it my head has a literal diameter of 60 centimeters but this has been just like nice to wear and i probably like this is nice for this outfit but i definitely say this is more feminine so i probably wear it with some of my other like flowy dresses. The flowy dress that I got into straight away is the Free People red one and it was just like what I gravitated to first as something dressy but casual and comfortable but interesting. Um, wear, wear that with some Birkenstocks I think I wore it with. And I just have quite a few of those dresses. I'll show you a couple now. By the way, I wish I could always do hauls with no makeup and just no hair done. I got oil in my hair still. But I think as a rule of thumb, it's great to take something bright, something patterned, something white. What's so smart about the outfits is there are ridiculous amounts of combinations because everything just goes with everything. So I will put together like a proper reel of my favorite ones. I might even have to split it up and do like a day wear versus nightwear kind of haul. This is a free people dress, it's lovely. I mean, you really could just wear it you could have a slip underneath it for dinner. I wore it with that white half-baked swimsuit underneath and just went to dinner like that. I think you can get away with stuff like that on holiday, can't you? Because it's quite a shapeless dress, so it's nice to have a bit of shape underneath. Um, it's just so beautiful. Like, this is the perfect holiday dress. It's gorgeous. Not bridal, but like, not not bridal. I wore this on last evening in my 20s, which was really nice. And we did a little sunset walk on the beach. But it's flowy, it's comfortable. I actually slipped a pair of nude chafing shorts underneath as well, so I could be fully prepared for the beach walk. But it's gorge, the back as well is lovely. It makes wearing a bra hard with it, but that's why I think a white swimsuit or a white bikini is absolutely perfect. And then for the day, you could accessorize it with any one of the hats I've showed you. Probably not the bucket hat, but everything else. Like, you know what I'm saying? This hat deserves a feminine dress. Something like this would work really well. And then my big straw bag. This is another free people dress. All three of these free people, actually. Um, they are just the first place that I go to for beach stuff and some stuff they are lovely and very comfortable and high quality and their designs are bang on their e-commerce phenomenal i love them so much and i feel like they're a very you wouldn't think to go there if you were curve and hopefully me working with them will 
show you guys a bit of that. This I kept a bikini on with as well because it's very backless. I usually wear this without a bra. I find it's absolutely fine because it has this sort of elasticated almost under boob bit here. Um, but look at the colour, it's gorgeous. I never wear colours like this at home. I feel like you can only really get away with colour like this when you're on holiday. And again, you can slip on the Birkenstocks, the nude flats, the nude heels, you can wear any one of the hats with it as well and it's just as easily a day dress as it is a night dress and oh my goodness it's comfortable it's kind of like a it's softer than cotton it, I, I can't describe it I don't know what it is I can't bother to look at the label if I'm being quite honest this is the red one I spoke about again you could wear a bikini underneath it quite easily or you could whip it off I didn't wear a bikini with mine this is comfortable it's exactly what I wanted to wear on the first night I was miserable after our flight it was just so long and so sweaty my my calf felt like it's swollen up actually I think I just went a bit too hard on the peloton before the flight then got dehydrated and my feet swell I genuinely thought I had like DVT or something because I came off the flight and my this calf bit was in so much pain so I was really miserable and I gravitated towards this dress and you know what I say about you know being comfortable and just the thing that I would go to first in my wardrobe like it's cringe but it's so much more than a dress for me it's just like comfort and feeling good it's lovely it has this little tie here and it has a tie back here if you wanted to have a bit more shape to it but i do like it to kind of droop and flow because it's just a lot more boho so that's my very unintended haul but i've had a lot of questions i want to show you some stuff but definitely do go to my IG, my TikTok. And then if you want to actually shop things, you can shop below in the description box here. But also highly, highly recommend that you shop through my LTK profile, which is as ever the best place to find absolutely everything I've ever worn in the past ever. I know you might be resistant to downloading an app, I am as well, but actually downloading the app means you have access to features like you can see the size I wear, you can see when I've tagged an exact item or if it's a dupe, and also you can search, there's a search bar, so you could literally go onto my profile and search chafing shorts or summer dress or gold jewelry and every time I've styled that particular item it will come up for you. It's 4.30, I think we can hear the sound of a seaplane landing. Um, but it's 4.30 now, so I'm gonna go outside, do some reading, and I've just thrown on a sarong. So wrong, but so right. I've tried, it's too humid outside. The camera gets foggy, so I'm on my iPhone now. I'm just gonna pour him a glass of water. Apparently it's quite important to drink water after a massage because of toxins or something. It's lovely, we're just letting the oil sink in, not gonna go in the sun. I've been fake tanning since I've been here, actually using the Tan Lux drops just every other night just adding a couple of those to my after sun and it's been working really well. So we're outside our front door. This is what it looks like when we go out to dinner. So it's like a proper rainforest so we've got bikes um, that come in and I'll show you the outside. When we came in, like that's the beach, we were just just cried. So that's we go into the villa. We've got a couple of bikes and snorkel gear the other day. Please go and watch my reels slash TikTok if you haven't seen them. And what we love is just, it's so private. Like, I think that's the thing about the Maldives. So I've been to the Caribbean and I would say the beaches are, the beaches in the Caribbean are like the best in the world, I think. The thing that makes the Maldives different is the amount of space and privacy you get. So that's the entrance where you come in. That is where we had dinner last night. We just got some room service and had a chilled one in our pajamas. This is where the sun comes in the morning, so we like to chill on there. And then in the middle of the day, the pool gets the sun and then the beds in the afternoon. And then we have this cabana over here, which is constantly shaded and does also have a fan in it. So if you really need to cool down, that's the best place to go. And then you walk through and look, here's the Maldives. And all of this is ours. So I think in the Caribbean, you'd usually have like a load of lounges here. And I love the Caribbean, but this is just so much privacy. It's just incredible. And then this hammock. We actually woke up early on my birthday at like half six which is actually, I think that's like midnight in the UK. We're six hours ahead. And yeah, as we sat in this hammock and we watched the sun come up for my 30th and I was just like, memories, memories. Yesterday, I was here by myself. I was trying to film like a little TikTok in the water. And it's the first time I was in the water probably by myself since coming here. And a shark, probably the same size as me, was literally 
just me and the shark in this little bit here like really shallow less than knee high and the shark was I'd say like maybe one and a half meters but that was really exciting we've also swam out there we got some snorkels and we swam out there and we saw a turtle like totally totally in the wild by ourselves and a pod of 20 dolphins if I just take you through the kind of jungle bit now we're on the beach and it, that like yeah, you can just go for hours without seeing anybody else is what my boyfriend's mum said and she's so right like it's just so private until I get my vlogging equipment out. <laughs> and we made some friends with some other people as well. So just everyone's very friendly. It's very international here as well. It's just the, that blue colour. Like, I will come back to this vlog to see that blue colour. So we are under the cabana now and hope I'm loud enough, not being drowned out, pun intended, by the, uh, the pool and the beach. <sighs> I've, it's just incredible. He took a lot of persuading because it's so expensive. That's why I wanted to labour the point of like, this isn't normal, this is a one-off. It was for my 30th and, you know, got through COVID, literally had COVID a month ago before we were even here, wondering if I would still be testing negative for the test or if I'd like feel up to it. But I, so what I said, and if you need to persuade somebody to go, this is what you say. This doesn't work for everybody, by the way, this was just our situation, but I was just like, look, do you want to go to the Maldives at some point? Yes or no? He said yes. I was like, okay, great, tick. What's your plan then? Because if we go now for my 30th, when it's just the two of us, that makes sense. In a few years time, God willing, with a couple of kids, that doesn't make sense to me. So then it's after the kids leave and then you're retired. And I'm just like, if you do want to go, like you say you did, then what's your plan? So that's how I got here. And then I was like, oh, I'm only 30 once. But yeah, I just wanted to like, congratulate myself for a lot of really hard work and this was really earned and I feel so ridiculously grateful that we're here on it because of my social media it's pretty wild all I want to do is just spend every single minute enjoying it which is incredibly mindful and is not something that I'm very good at doing at home I'm always looking like forward to the next thing and preparing for the next thing but here is just about being fully in the present. And the sad thing about social media is that when you say, take a picture or a video or whatever, you exchange that moment that's truly for yourself for social media, whether it's for the validation of others, showing your life is cool, whatever it is. And sometimes there is a good point to taking a picture, like it's a memory or whatever, but I've traded so many moments for validation or content or something other than just being in the moment. So I was being very mindful of that since we've been here. Have wanted to create content because it's so beautiful, but also being really economical and putting my phone down when I needed to. And a huge part of that was not vlogging every single day, especially because we spend most of our days, I mean, I look totally sick as well <laughs> during the day, just really wet, sweaty, um, gross. But I, I didn't need to show you every single thing every single day, which is why I just wanted to be doing bit by bit. I am itching my mosquito bites like nuts. Just had a really great shower and the light outside is so beautiful. And now I'm gonna do a tiny bit of makeup and get ready for dinner. We're going to Azure. Tiny bit of makeup. Tiniest bit of makeup. I like to depot everything for when I travel but this is the Walida Skin Food Moisturizer. Phenomenal. Tiny bit of eyebrows first. This is the Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim in the color medium brown. And then the Tanya Burr, sorry, not Tanya Burr, by Tanya Burr Authored Brow Gel in the color two. Then mascara, this is a tiny little Charlotte Tilbury full fat lashes in, I think called Glossy Black. Then a teeny bit of this Bobbi Brown corrector. I think it is discontinued. I'm not sure about that. And then I have been, I've been pescatarian this trip, as I usually am when I go away. And it's made my skin break out, obviously. So when I get back, it'll be back on the vegan train. Then a really small amount of the iconic London Radiance Booster. I'm not doing a very good job of this. I think it's mainly because I've just been going makeup free most nights. And then a tiny bit of blush just to look fresh and sunkissed. This is the Bobbi Brown Pot Rouge in the color Pink Pomelo. 
I don't know how I remember these. I think we were just tagging them so often. I carry a lot of my makeup in my makeup stack. I think it's very clever and great for getting through security and packing less and things like that. Evlom lip balm. And that is the finished look in the light. Either very dark or very light, but it's sunrise, sunset here. So I'm gonna get into my outfit. <laughs> Kind of semi dried my bangs, but I'm just letting them dry naturally. They're quite well behaved, like half dried, but just put some. It's the Lush R&B leave-in conditioner, and it just provides a bit of texture to my hair. I use it a little bit at home, but I use it so much when I'm away because it's just a very low maintenance styling product, and it's very concentrated. So you need to take a bit, and I just decant a little bit into a. Excuse me, excuse me, I'm filming. Just been invited to a cocktail party. Um, so we might go to that at the Onu Onu bar, which is cute. Um, I don't really know what invited means. Like we're all, you know, here at the hotel, you're gonna be refusing people, but um, so we might try and get a drink there quickly and then go to the Azure for dinner. I'll show you what I'm looking at now because the light's just so nice. A little slice of heaven in the evening. I love how the light is casting those shadows on the wall. It just looks so beautiful. And it's a normal temperature as well now. It's nice. It's the pool doing its thing. The only thing I'm slightly skeptical about is if we go to the cocktail party, then we will probably get more mosquito bites. And um, I don't know if you get mosquito bites in Maldives, but I have 11. Outfit of the day is my ASOS bag, my free people dress, my Missima jewelry with Monica Venida, and these are from Amazon Find. I think we're going to walk to dinner now. Oh no, we're going to the cocktail club, aren't we? Can I have a take a little walk to forest? My bangs are looking very, I mean, they're gonna go nuts, aren't they? Very saved by the bell. Have you ever seen the largest pool in the Maldives? You're about to, all the way that way. And all the way that way. Made it to the cocktail bar, and the bar's actually in the sea, which is lovely. It's quite lively here. It's like a, like a party atmosphere. take our bike and ride off to our new villa. I've never been in one of these before so we're gonna go check it out for the first time. Wow! 